Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome to Oxygen Not Included, a space beast survival game where we send clones into an asteroid and build a grand empire, or at least a living one. So we're going to start a new game here on survival, and we are going to go to the very first asteroid because I am big noob. Ooh, and we get three slaves, I mean duplicates, to start with. So Frankie, Max, and... Travaldo, oh my god, what a good name. But I guess the names don't really matter right now because we need to make sure they have good interests and traits and stress reactions. Oh man, for duplicates, they're pretty unique. However, I'm looking for some pretty specific things because we're gonna be living inside of an asteroid, right? We need to be doing a lot of digging, probably building machines, and a little bit of cooking or farming could be a little handy too. So let's focus on the interest for now and just roll until we see something spicy. Ooh! Like Joshua here, who likes cooking and building, has no taste. Oh my god, the dream. Because they're all gonna be eating dirt. So like, if you can't taste the dirt, that's the dream. Squeamish can't do doctoring errands? <laughs> By the time we need a doctor, it's already too late. And then, oh, they have a stress reaction. Ugly crier. That seems like a good thing. Can we harvest tears in this game? I'm sure a lot of them are gonna be crying, so like, Harvest the tears, goes to our water supply, they're a resource! Okay, Joshua, you're good. Welcome to the team. Now, Max, you're looking really excited. Excited to be re-rolled. <laughs> Ooh, and now we got Mr. Turner. Mr. Turner, you can farm. Handy. You like to decorate, and you like digging. I like that. I like that a lot. Some increased strength to carry more garbage. Yokel, can't do researching. That's fine, you're pretty much gonna be a hillbilly in our world. And then your stress reaction is binge eater. Well, you can't binge eat if there's no food, so that's irrelevant. Leaving just Travaldo. You know what, we're keeping the name. I don't think we're keeping the dupe though. Oh my gosh, and I think it was meant to be. But I re-rolled so many people that we landed again on Travaldo. Except this one's interests include researching, decorating, and cooking. Has no taste, so they'll be happy with all the dirt. And since we'll have no food, you'll have nothing to vomit, so that's done! Oh my gosh! The dream team! So now we just need to name the colony. Lucky Dump? Well, the dump part's accurate. I don't know how lucky we're gonna get. Let's think here. And you know, considering the circumstances, I think this should be a good name. The Kibbs Tatership. <laughs> or maybe something a little more subtle, eh? How about we name it the Kibbs Crew 1? Yeah, that sounds all like space-like and adventure and definitely not frightening. I like it! So let us embark! And here we are! Welcome to the Keeps Crew 1. The greatest space colony that there ever shall be! What's this? Carbon dioxide? That's fine. What's this? Vacuum? Sure. But look at all this water! And look up here, there's a bunch of chlorine gas. I've only heard good things about that. And luckily, I kind of already know like the basics of the game because I tried it out on a live stream. So we should be able to get moving and grooving pretty quickly. Oh, yeah, and then oxygen's not included. So we kind of have to worry about like, you know, how much oxygen there is. Oh, and look at that, there's an overlay for the oxygen so we can actually see it. Oh, wow, there's hardly any. Great. And you know, it's kind of funny. First games had DLCs, then season passes, and now they don't even include oxygen with it. Like, <laughs> come on. But we will hopefully make do, because it looks like they can survive in unbreathable areas. That's all we need. Right? Right. So dig this out now. Then we're gonna make it a very nice floor. Then really start moving and grooving. Like with storage bins, and ladders, and washrooms. Because you know we're a space-faring colony who has only the most advanced technology, right? Right. Oh, but wait a second here. Uh, we're not building the pool just yet, my friend. Um, could you not be there? Thank you, my friend. Because this is actually going to be our water source. You see, we're gonna be having the pool a little bit later here, okay? There we go, you see, much better. Survive first, pool parties after. And guess what? Because you guys have been so good, you get these slave cots! And people don't think I'm a gracious leader. Those are the comfiest, most space-age beds I've ever seen. Glorious. Does nobody tell them that they're gonna be sleeping in carbon dioxide and hardly breathable air? 
But with every good thing comes a bad thing. And now we're gonna force them to run in hamster wheels. Because we need the technology. We need the power. So we're gonna build a hamster wheel. And they're gonna power a battery. And it's gonna be all hunky dory. And why do we want the power? Ah, because we need a research station, of course. And then we will have the technology. And with our great technology, we can make an auction diffuser. And you know, they won't die. <laughs> Good strategy? I think so. Man, not gonna lie, actually. Uh, we came pretty close to death here. That's not a lot of air. But to run, run, Travaldo. Run for your life. Power the battery. Make the air thing. Please, please, Turner. You have one job to do that. Good. And now the wire's done. We're making the oxygen. We can slow her down. Let's see it working. Why is it taking so long? Make more. Battery, you better last, brother. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's working. It's working. Okay. We all good. Power's gonna run out soon, but you know what? I think we can solve that with some research. And luckily, I've kind of already went through this a little bit, and I know some spicy objectives. Like building a monument to our great empire. Or we can build a rocket ship and travel the stars. But most importantly, there is a supercomputer! So we can have a new beast in this new world, and it will be glorious. Glorious. But before that, we should probably get a bigger battery here. We don't want people running in the treadmill using up all of our oxygen all the time, right? We need them digging, brother. We need them digging. Oh, wait a second, though. Hold up. Printing pod. Oh, that's what this is. We came in on this. Has a printable available. That's a new person. Ooh. Blueprint. And we have more people. But we could either get more people or we could get an egg. Three eggs, in fact. So what's more important? A duplicate's life or breakfast? Well, honestly, it's breakfast, but I do want someone to run in the wheel all day. So run, run, Otto, run for your life. And welcome to your new enslavement camp, AKA home. But as everyone holds their breath during their slumber, I think there's another new thing we can mess with. And that is duplicant skills. So hold up, guys. You like art? You do art. You guys have any skills yet? No. This is why we got a new person, because you know what, new guy? He knew what's up. Anyway, though, we got the big old battery, so now we don't need to worry about that as much. Otto shall run for his life and charge that thing up. The air will be produced and we'll have oxygen for days. Meaning we can work on something else. Like a food source, because sadly, they literally cannot eat dirt. I know, very disappointing. So we're gonna make a kitchen area. Somewhere. Down here? Sure. And for our kitchen here, it looks like the only food we can make is a micro musher. Not gonna lie, something like that doesn't sound that much better than dirt, but hey, at least it can physically eat it. Oh, and look at the recipes we have. Mush bar, lice loaf, tofu, oh gosh, I would, yeah, we'd, we'd be going to dirt before tofu and berry sludge. Yeah, I think we're gonna stick with this one since we can actually make it and we'll make it forever. Ah, yes. Just like mama used to make. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. So now we have the plant-based poop, bedrooms, power, water. What more could we need? Probably a more sustainable food source, like plants. So let's make ourselves a nice little garden area through here. So uh, dig it out, boys. Oh, but would you look at this in the deep of night? A new printable? What get? More eggs? That's pretty good. However, I... This is probably a really bad idea, like we're all gonna starve, but dang. Devin, my dude. Interest, digging, traits, mole hands. So faster digging. He is the ultimate digger. Yeah, we need him. Devin is the mole man. Like, look at this man. This absolute mad lad. It's already done. Ah, uh, yes, good, good. Finally, we got a farm. Took them a while, but we can plant mealwood. Sounds delish. 
Wart Seed. Oh man, tough choice, but Meal Wood I think will work. Oh, lovely. I see. There's actually like grubs on the Meal Wood. Oh, maybe they're better off eating dirt. Well, actually, no, they should be pretty good now. Check it out. We have the microbe thing, and now we have a grill for that spicy, spicy mush fry. Deep fried, solidified mud slop. Oh, yes. Clap for that delicious mush. Yes, you see, these duplicates are sure living in luxury. Also, in the spirit of making things nice for everybody, I'm gonna make some mess tables as well. Add in the decor. Mm, yes, quite the fancy, fancy room. Let's consider it a reward, since no one's died yet. Ooh, speaking of though, more printables. Copper, sure, let's get that. We're good on people for the next long, 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 long time. Oh, now look at that, they're all eating their disgusting lice things. Everybody's happy, happy, happy. And I guess Devin can have a table as well. Though Devin's about to be very, very busy, so don't get used to sitting down, brother. You see, Mr. Devin, he's gonna be going on a little adventure here. We have to scout around the map and see kind of what's around. Like over here, we have Mr. Mm, kind of fuzzy. And then over on the left of the map, we have this horrible slime area that is totally gonna kill us. So yeah, I wanna see what's going on a little bit more to the north and to the east. And as we move further and further up north, it is only looking like there's more horrible death land. All right though, Devin. Godspeed, it is time. We are going to explore over in this direction and hopefully it looks pretty good out there. And it's super gross out this way. So now the north, the east, and the west are a bust. We only have one more hope and that is to the south. And the south is pretty much garbage too. So I don't know if I'm unlucky with this map or if this is normal, but I don't know. We have a decent chunk of space to work with though, so hey, could be worse. No one's died in like three weeks, so hey, that was kind of the only thing on the old checklist to do. Anyway though, I think that's gonna be all for today, so I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know what you think of the series. But have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye